Welcome students. I welcome you in class 9. Today we shall start assignment 1, subject biology and we shall learn chapter 2, cell, the unit of life. After the explanation, I will give you some question. You will write the answer in your exercise book and later I shall check them. So let's start. What is a cell? The cell is the fundamental structural and functional unit of all living beings. Cells are generally small in size. They cannot be seen with the naked eye. They are microscopic. However, certain cells are visible to the naked eye. Next point. Cell is called the structural unit of an organism because each body part of an organism is made up of a number of cells. Cells make the body of an organism just like the bricks form a building. Every organ in our body, the brain, the skin, the muscles or even the bone is composed of Hundreds of thousands of such cells. Similarly, the parts of plant, the leaf, the flower, the root or even the wood is composed of many cells. So cell is called the structural unit of all living beings. Next point. Each cell performs certain basic functions essential for the survival, growth and development of the body. Cell, cell performs all the life processes such as respiration, excretion and growth which are necessary for the survival of an organism. So cell is called the functional unit of living beings. Next point. Every cell is independent and has its own metabolic machinery to carry out the functions. Next point, cell grow and even die. The dead cells are replaced by the new one. Old and weak cell in the body continually die and are replaced by new cells. So I hope this portion is clear to you all. So I shall move to the next topic that is the invention of microscope and the discovery of cell. The first microscope was constructed by Dutch scientist Anthony van Leeuwenhoek. He developed a simple microscope using only a single biconvex lens. Robert Hooke, an English scientist, developed a microscope by using two lenses for achieving greater magnification such microscopes were later known as compound microscope. Robert Hooke introduced the term cell after observing a thin slice of cork tissue under microscope in 1665. Hooke examined a thin slice of cork under his microscope and observed that it was made of tiny box-like compartment piled up together. This reminded him of the rooms or cells of monk in a monastery. And so he said that court was made up of cells. So the term cell was coined by Robert Hooke. So I think this portion is clear to you all. So we shall move, move to the next topic. Next topic, cell theory. In 1838, Matthias Leiden, a German botanist, announced that every plant is made up of a large number of cells. He added that each of these cells performed various life processes. A year later, Theodor Swan, a German zoologist, made similar discoveries in animals. He declared that all animals and plants are composed of cells which serve as the units of structure and function. This in short is called the cell theory was proposed by Swan and Sladen in the year 
1839. Rudolf Virgo in 1858 made an addition to the cell theory by saying that all cells arise from pre-existing cells. So the cell theory states three major points. Number one, the cell is the smallest unit of structure of all living things. Number two, the cell is the unit of function of all living things. Number three, all cells arise from pre-existing cells. That's it for today. Thank you.